So basically we're gonna be following through this tutorial, but I'll add in the manifest file. Um, so basically, if I just go into my apps here, I've already created um, an app here and I wanna show you how easy it is to use manifest. So basically, I know that this app right here is exactly, um, has exactly the scopes that I want. So I go into app manifest here on the side and here is the manifest and we can just copy and paste this because we know these are the OAuth scopes and bot scopes and everything that I like. because I've already tested it. So here I'm gonna copy and paste that. And the first thing I do when I create my Slack app is I can click this create a Slack app button and I can say from app manifest and we'll just select my workspace Slack interview. And then here I'll paste in that one that I got from my app. So um, instead of the name, I'll just say manifest app um, YT for YouTube. And I'll say, hello world YouTube. Um, and this is kind of the, the really important part. So here, um, so we've done our basic description. We have our metadata, such as our manifest um, name. Sorry, for our name for the app. We have app home tab enabled, which we want, message tab enabled. Um, this is the bot name. I'll just say bot YT for YouTube. Our slash commands, slash demo YT. And then here is this URL um, that we need to get. So now um, I'm gonna wait off on filling this description, but then I'll go back to my um, tutorial and I will go into setting up your Bolt app. So Bolt is a framework that makes it really easy to start and um, create Slack apps and use the Slack APIs. So we're gonna click, click on this Remix the App Template. What this is gonna do is it's gonna spin up a Glitch instance. Glitch is a almost like a serverless code hosting website. So basically it'll run your code whenever you need it to be run. So here we're gonna start a Bolt app and we're gonna um, make sure that we can um, talk to our app and, and it can, and our app can communicate to Slack and our workspace and post messages for us. So we'll show you how to do that. But I need to first charge my laptop or just finish this really quickly because I only have 10%. I will hold myself to that. Okay. So here's our app, app template here. Um, here's app.js. So now we need to set this URL and we have our, our uh, glitch app running. Um, we just need to share this URL. So this live site is this, adamfantasticallofglitch.me. And then at this point I can copy and paste this and this is where my live app is gonna be. And I can do the same for here. And this just means that our events are gonna be um, looking for this URL to be able to respond to events. And again, we can do the same here for other interactivity. Um, and that is more or less it. We should be good to go here. So this is basically what we've done is we've given our bot chat write and chat write public so we can write into uh, public channels. And it's also looking for the app home open event to be able to respond to that. And we also will have a slash command called slash demo IT. So I'll show you all this soon once we write the code for this. So we'll click on next and we've got our bot commands, chat, uh, commands, chat and chat, write, And then slash commands apps home and then interactivity. We have one event description, one bot event, which is good. Create this. And now, um, we can click our install to app and this is the OAuth flow, which will ask for the permissions and we'll click allow. So now our app is able to talk to this workspace. So now, um, I'm able to go into basic information and then see my, uh, client secret. Uh, oh, sorry. We need a signing secret. So I'll click on show here. And then for the slap bot token, I'll go ahead and go into, um, I'll go ahead and go into OAuth and permissions here and I'll grab my bot token and you should see my OAuth scopes here. Okay. So we have our bot user token. So we'll copy that 
and we'll put that in here. And now if we go to the app.js, we should see that it is working properly. So let's go into tools and logs. See Bolt app is running, perfect. Now let's go back into um, the code and basically we'll have this um, code that will respond to an app home open event. Um, so let's copy and paste this code. And this is from, um, this is from the tutorial and that link will be in the description. And now we've already told our app that we want to subscribe to app home open events. So basically when we open our Slack app, um, our app's going to name, uh, our app is going to be installed in the bottom left section. And if we open that, we should see a view publish. And that means that we'll see something on the screen and it'll just say work. Welcome to your apps home. So let's go ahead and try that. So I'm going to pull up my Slack. And here I want to add my app and it should be called help manifest app YouTube. So it's called bot YT. And here we see that, um, welcome to your apps home, click me. And I haven't actually created a listener for that. So that's why it's spinning. But, um, now we saw that that worked. So now in our examples, we have a couple actions here and we have an app, uh, listen for a command called hello world. And then we have a button press. So let's go ahead and use both of these. So I'm just gonna copy and paste these and paste these basically directly in our um, app.js folder. Sorry, in our app.js file. And I can I can uh, leave this uh, code uh, in the description too so everybody can see it. Um, so you don't have to worry about keeping track of the code or anything. Um, but here, um, instead of hello world, the slash command is, I believe it's a slash demo yt. So that's what we wrote in our manifest and that's what we want to listen for here. So once we do this slash command, um, our app is going to call the Slack API and call chat.post message. And it's going to go ahead and give us a block. And that's part of block kit, which is this UI framework um, that Slack is based on. And in that block, we'll have a little bit of text saying, go ahead, click it, and then a button there. And if you look at the code here, this is a type button with a text that says, click me and an action ID of button ABC. This action ID is really important um, because in it, once we press that button, our code will look for a callback function, which has, which, um, has button ABC in there listening for uh, that callback function. So here's that callback function, app.action, button ABC. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna call chat.update, which is gonna update the a message. And it's gonna say the button was clicked. So let's go ahead and try this now. So just to reiterate, our bot now can respond to this slash command, said slash uh, demo dash YT for YouTube. And then it'll send us, once we click on that slash command, it'll, it'll send us a message with a little button. Let's go ahead and try that. We'll go to messages and I'll do a slash and I'll do slash demo IT, click enter. And then our bot will say, go ahead and click it and then click me. And then it'll say the button was clicked. So just a quick hello world um, to your first Slack app. And just, you've learned a little bit more about manifests and then how easy it is to kind of copy and paste that manifest file and add all those scopes automatically. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'll try to do, make some more videos if you have any ideas of what you want to see in terms of Slack integrations, Slack apps, anything building Slack APIs, let me know. Um, like and subscribe too. That would help a lot. Thanks.